Let's take a minute to look at policies. To control user access or session environments, you configure policies in ZenApp. Policies are the most efficient way to control connections, security, and bandwidth settings in ZenApp. You can create policies for specific groups of users, devices, or connection types. Each policy can contain multiple settings. You can work with policies through the Group Policy Management Console in Windows or the App Center in ZenApp. The console or tool that you use to do this depends on whether or not your network environment includes Microsoft Active Directory and whether or not you have the appropriate permissions to manage group policy objects. If your network environment includes Active Directory and you have the appropriate permissions to manage group policy, use the Group Policy Management Editor. You use this to create policies for the Zen App servers in your environment. The settings you configure affect the GPOs you specify through the Group Policy Management Console. If your environment includes a different directory service or you are a Citrix administrator without permission to manage group policy, use the App Center to create policies for your farm. The settings you configure here are stored in a farm GPO in the data store. Group policy settings are processed in the following order. Local GPO, ZenApp Farm GPO stored in the farm data store, site level GPOs, domain level GPOs, and organizational units. However, in the event of a conflict, policy settings that are processed last can overwrite those that are processed earlier. This means that policy settings take effect in the following order. Organizational units, domain level GPOs, site level GPOs, ZenApp Farm GPOs, and local GPOs. For example, a Citrix administrator creates a policy, Policy A, through the App Center that enables client file redirection for sales employees. Meanwhile, another administrator creates a policy, Policy B, through the Group Policy Management Editor that disables this function. When the sales employees log onto the farm, Policy B is applied and Policy A is ignored. This happens because Policy B was processed at the domain level and Policy A was processed at the ZenApp Farm GPO level. Citrix policies are supported for use in Active Directory environments running at the Windows 2000 domain functional level at a minimum. To ensure Citrix policy settings are included in reports when resultant set of policy is calculated, at least one domain controller running Windows Server must be present in the forest. The process for configuring policies is as follows. Create the policy, configure the settings, apply the policy to filters, prioritize the policy, and verify the policy running the Citrix Group Policy Modeling Wizard. In the next section, we look at best practices for policies.